Hey, how is everyone? Lou from RV Habit. Today, well actually tomorrow I'm going to smoke a turkey, but tonight I'm going to brine the turkey. And basically we're going to put it in this big bag and we're going to make a brine. Brine's real easy. The most important things are water, salt, and sugar. And then everything else you can pretty much make up on your own. I'm going to use apple cider today. So I have brown sugar, bay leaves, peppercorns, uh, lemon, some oranges, a bunch of garlic smashed up. We're going to put it all in this bag, we'll brine it for 24 hours, and then tomorrow we're going to smoke it on the uh, uh, Green Mountain Grill. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this turkey in the bag. And then we're going to start adding our ingredients. And the first thing I'm going to do is add some of the fluid apple cider. We use the whole half gallon. And the whole object is you want to cover this completely. So if we don't have enough liquid, we'll just top it off with water, which we will do. Onto that, we're going to add about a cup of salt. like a lot but it's actually not once you add everything. I'm going to add some water now. You can probably take another half a gallon on top of that. But. A cup of brown sugar. About a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. One lemon. I squeeze them a little bit. And two oranges. And again, the most important thing is to salt and water in. You can pretty much add whatever flavor you like. Most people seem to think apple cider is real good with it. On top of that, I'm going to add just a touch of honey. This is one bowl of garlic, all smashed up. Don't have to dice it, just smash it. And then in here I have a handful of bay leaves, whole peppercorns, and some poultry season. And then on top of that, I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of good old fashioned bourbon. Now, we want the bird completely covered, so I'm going to get a little more water. I have some string here. I'm going to tie it. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator tomorrow, same time. I'll take it out and we'll smoke it. And I'll see you then. So, as luck would have it, I seasoned the entire turkey and uh, obviously didn't press record uh, because I don't have the footage. But just to explain what I did, I took it out of the brine. I completely dried the bird with uh, paper towels. You want the bird completely dry inside and out. And then I just simply seasoned it with some kosher salt, some black pepper, garlic powder, and then use your favorite rub. Now, I used Red River Ranch uh, Mesquite flavoring. You could use anything you like. Uh, so you're just going to cover it with that rub, and then we'll put it on a rack, and we're going to take it outside to the smoker. So let's go out to the smoker. 
Okay, I apologize for the wind out here, and it's uh, it's a good 35 degrees out right now. Uh, if you're, in case you're wondering on this grill, I have a thermal blanket I bought from Green Mountain. This thing works great, it keeps the temperature real, real nice uh, when it's cold out. But now we're gonna try and get this turkey in here. Now I put a pan in here, I put some uh, chicken stock in there. I wanna catch some of the drippings when I do this. The trick is to see if I can fit this in with this pan. I'm not gonna leave this pan in there the entire time, but I just wanna catch some of the original drippings. Okay, so I'm gonna close it up. We are going to smoke this for about an hour at 225, and then we'll crank it up later, but I'm gonna come out and check it in about an hour, and we're gonna leave it at 225. So we're back, it's 90 minutes later. The uh, turkey's been smoking for at 225. We're gonna open it up and see what it looks like. Oh, it looks great. Actually, the skin is crisping up perfectly. I think I'm gonna leave it at 225 and continue to smoke it at this temperature. And my pan is uh, catching the drippings just like I wanted it to. So I'm gonna close it up. I'll let it smoke for another hour before I come back out. And uh, next time I come back out, I'll start checking the temperature. So the turkey's been smoking uh, about four hours at 225. I'm gonna come out and check it. I have a thermometer, I wanna check what the temperature of the meat is. It still looks great. I'm gonna go right in the thigh here. The thigh's at 150, so I got about 15 degrees to go. And then the breast. is actually 156 so I'm gonna turn this up to 300 to finish this off probably will take another 45 minutes but I'll turn this up to 300 to finish off and crisp up that skin real nice so the turkey's done uh, the last 50 minutes I put it up to 300 and it gave it a nice golden brown look uh, the hardest part of this whole thing was actually tenting it and letting it sit for a half hour before I can cut into it. Um, I'm going to leave a link to the uh, insulated cover I used on the smoker and the thermometer down in the description if you're interested. And now let's cut into this and see how juicy it is. Or if it's juicy. Oh yeah. Super juicy. Let's see if I can get a slice for you guys to see. Look at the juice coming out of that. Get another slice so we can taste it. Wow. Even the white meat, super juicy. It's a little piece. Mmm. Oh wow, loaded with flavor. This is the first turkey I've ever smoked. It came out fantastic for my first time. I don't know if I'd do anything different. Maybe try some different brines and stuff, but it came out fantastic. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the description. Let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.